move it over here. Go to live chat. And we should be good to go, guys. Right, let me know if you all can hear me or if you can see me, blah, 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 blah. Because I have pressed start streaming. So just let me know how we're going. Are we doing, are we doing, are we doing all right? Yes, we're here. Nice to see you all. Do, do, do. Or should I do a Vic now? Dum, de dum, de dum, de dum. And we are recording. There we go. Hello, my lovelies. Nice to see you. All right, Bill. Uh, tell, tell Aiden, though, to hurry up, get off, so I can have my people back, because there'll be trouble. Right. Let's start from the top. Let's see who's in the house. We have got the lovely Sam switch my wigs. Hello, sweetie. We've got James, JP. Hi. Now, what is I'm just going to say John, because McKenna is John, if I believe right, yeah? Ooh. Village, another John. Hello, hello, hello. Who else have we... Oops, it's gone too far. Bill. Bert is bloody messing about. You better hurry up, Bill. Marissa. Mariessa. Marias. Yes. Mari... I, I always get this wrong, don't I? Marcius. There we go. Roy. Hello, hello. Hubby. Who else have we got in the house? Let's have a look. Drew. Hello, Drew. Hello, Pasty Dawn. Hello, no, hello. James. Hello, sweetheart. Nice to see you. Gav. Hello. Well, we've got a few of you in. We've got 20 watching. Eight thumbs up. Five thumbs down already. There's a surprise. There's a surprise. The haters are about. What is wrong with them? They give the thumbs up and they have nothing else to do. Alfie, hello. But do you know what? I don't care because it all helps me. It's still got in my views. Silly moves. They're just daft, aren't they? Hi, Liz, sweetie. Nice to see you. Obviously, I'll go through what I'm vaping on shortly. Sorted. Thank you, Bill. Back time. Hi, Gilly. Hey, yeah. Hey, sweetie. Hope you're feeling better because I know you had a bad head bit yesterday as well. <coughs> choke, choke, choke. Smurf, hello. Craig, hello. Obviously, I'm just waiting on a few people coming in and then I'll go through, uh, what do you call it, your buffet. Nailed it in the end. Yes, Mary, wait, Marcius. There we go. Marcius. <laughs> Got there in the end. And that's the main thing, isn't it? My kelp is leaking, but not from the air hole or bottom seal. Really, James? I wonder where it's leaking from then. Have you got enough cotton in it? Obviously, if it's not leaking from the bottom, then it's not cotton. You'll have to figure out where it's leaking from first before we can say anything about that, darling. Quick suck on here. I'm all on the pods today, guys. 30 watching. Hello, 30. Oh. 13 thumbs down now. Aren't we doing well? Emily, hello. Nice to see you. Nice to see the ones who want to be here. Nice to see you haters out there. Nice to see you that you've come. Just to give a thumbs down. Well done. Good on you. Hi, Lucky. We're all coming in now and then we'll do the buffet. 14 now. Oh. Dear me, we have got some haters about. Chris Lethal, hello, sweetheart. Sorry, my, um, let me just turn the sound down on this. There we go. 16 haters, woohoo! New record now. Hi, Mark, nice to see you. Are oh, you Mark? You, do you know what? You'll love it. The DIY, it was fun doing that DIY like that because usually, I mean, my husband's been doing it this evening. Usually we use scales and it was nice doing it the old school way. And it was good fun. I've actually got mine here. Look, I'm leaving it steep just that little bit longer. There it is. Keep giving it a wee shake and I'm going to let it steep a little bit and try it again tomorrow. But it was all right already, so I'm not complaining over that. 
It is Gav. You're quite right. So Sodom. Because you know what they are? Uh, uh, yeah? You know what I mean? Hi, Matt. Nice to see you, sweetie. 31 watching now. 21 thumbs down. 22. Oh, you're doing well. Going for a record. Well, we beat the record. The most I've ever had, I think, is was eight at one time. So, oh, we beat the record. So, uh, do you know what? We'll go on my buffet, shall we? Vapor will make some good concentrates. They do, Bill. They do. What's Steve saying? Oh, he's just talking. Right. So, let's see. What am I vaping on? What am I vaping on? Right. Firstly, I've got this. The UL box one. The UL squonky thing. Press the button. All that jazz. Let's have a quick vape on it. I'm not keen. I'm really not keen on the dripper. But... Very slow to fire up this. Captain's custard in that. So what else have we got on the go? Right. These sticking. Now I've got lick juicing because I'm using a dripper and it's the Easy One EDA. It's actually quite a good little thing. Hi, Rog. Gives that good flavour. Quite happy with that. Good flavour. And I've also got the carbon dual side. Dual side, dual top side there. And I am sucking on Matt, suck my mods, Passage. Sherbet lemons, boss shot in there. Hi, Kevin, sweetheart. Hi, Darren. So we've got that in there. I've also got the single top side, and that has just got the bunker back on top. And in there, I have got the Rochford Project, strawberries and cream, and it's so good. So, so good. I've also got another one, another top side. It's not the silver one this time. It is the gunmetal one, and it's got the gunmetal recurved jewel by Mike Vapes. And I've got Humble's Blue Dazzle in there. I do like that. Oh, there's more. Can tell that I'm um, testing a lot for the review. Hi, John. Hope you're feeling all right, sweetheart. I've got strawberry sour in this, and I've got Sigeli's Zebra E2 kit. And there it is. I'm not keen on the colour myself. Flavour's okay, though. And I bet you're wondering what's this around my neck. No, it's not something for Stevie to strangle with me, strangle me with, but you know what, he could. It's the pixie. It's the wee pixie. This bit annoyed me at first, I don't know if you can hear it. Because it's got a little movement to it, but do you know what? I've noticed that when you're using it, it doesn't move. Hi, Sarah. And in that, I have got vanilla pod salt. 20 milligram, and this is by my sponsors, Pod Salt. They sponsor me now. So I have got that in there. Still using now my Yee Hee one, and it's the new pods. Really impressed with the new pods. And in that, I've got the Mixed Berries Pod Salt, and again, it's a 20 milligram from my sponsors. There we go. 
And lastly, one more pod system. I've just done the review for that. You'd have probably seen it. It's the Caliburn. And I've got the black currant pod salt in there. Again, a nice little thing going on. Now, guys, if you want anything from pod salts and you make your order and they're from my vapory use the code jewels in capital letters 20 you get 20 percent off and even if you're buying something from the sales you'll still get 20 percent off guys so if they've got something for sale say that's 40 percent reduced use my discount card, uh, code you'll get 60 percent off now nah, i can't you can't complain over that it's all right, Aiden. It's all right, sweetheart. You've finished anyway and everyone's coming. It's so nice. Don't you worry about it, babe. I'll slap your bum when I see you next. So that's what I'm using. And do you know what? I'm actually quite impressed with the picks there. I didn't think I would. Obviously, you'll have to wait for the review to come out. Because um, I've done the camera down stuff because I always do that as soon as things come in and then I use them. And this bit was annoying me straight away, the rattle, rattle and the movement. But, you know, using it, it doesn't move. So it's not a problem. Hey, flat cap. You all right, sweetheart? Cron, hello. Dave TBD, hello, sweetheart. Oh, you like it, John. And you got, um, if I remember right, did I send you the pod salts? Pod salts, didn't I? Tobacco. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Right, guys, what we're going to do is things that make you go, hmm. We're going to try and continue what we started last week. Remember, and the internet and YouTube was going all over the place. So we're going to continue that. If that's all right with you guys, I'm sure it is. And don't forget, all the links are going in by my wonderful spanners. So don't forget to, if you want any merch, click on them. Sub um, subscribe to me. All the usual stuff. Oh, and by the way, when you look down in comments, because I've got to put it in when it, in a bit, you'll also see my link for my PayPal, because my Patreon's not up and running yet. And if you want to make a donation to my PayPal to help me continue buying all these wonderful things for review, please do, because every pound helps. So, things that make you go, hmm, I've got my little padlock from last time. We got to question six. So... Are you ready, guys? Are you ready for this? Are some reviewers, casters, more approachable than others? Now, I know I asked that question, but then it went tits up, so we finished. So, I want to start where we sort of finished last time. So, who's saying, hello, Alan Ryans. Nice to see you, sweetheart. So, are some reviewers, casters, more approachable than others? Thoughts, my darlings? Thoughts? While I have a sip of limeade no alcohol on my no 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 keeping it sweet hi zan nice to see you darling zan i've got your i haven't got you let me just change that because you're supposed to be one of my spanners but i think you've done it in your other name and i cannot do it now look it's clicking it's clicking it's not doing a thing oh Let's see, hold on. Let's go into that one. Let's see. But we'll go there. Nope. It's still not clicking it. Never mind, I can alter it another way. <gasps> you old bastard, says our gaily. You <laughs> we're up. That that's me as well. And you, because you're a caster. So we're all bastards. I thought they would be put everyone on Meta Expo. was great. Yes, Rog. See, everyone's friendly. We're not all bastards, are we? <laughs> That naughty, naughty gaily bops. <laughs> Hi, Irish. Yes, rum is sweet. It is, but limeade, limeade for me. Bunny's not a man. Although, now I'm just drinking fizz. It's giving me wind. So, what we got? I only approach viewers online. Oh, cron. <laughs> Switch. They may see me, but face to face, on a whole, they are probably lovely. Yes. <laughs> you tell him, bunny. I mean, mischief mood. Good gala. I like a bit of mischief. I like a bit of fun. I'm glad that you're feeling like that, actually. It makes a nice change, doesn't it, when you're not feeling so bad. So why do you think that? Why do you all think that some are more approachable than the others? Or some all are approachable? It's Mr. Chris Empire Vape. Hello, sweetheart. So why do you think... 
reviewers actually really are approachable, or most are. What's your reasons behind that? <laughs> Drew, that's so nice of you to say. And I love you anyway. We hung about. I got to hang about with Drew. Drew's one of my subscribers, and we hung about. We did a bit of shopping together, didn't we, Drew? We had a bit of fun, and it, that was really nice because people always think if you're a reviewer or you share your views online that people that you're not actually approachable and i actually had a great time with all my subscribers you know i spent time i liked and if the fancy going for a walk around and shop with me yeah let's do it let's go and do it so me and drew did that jay jerry nice to see you so everybody's yes yeah, zan congratulations what's this they need to keep subbing they do <laughs> They are very approachable, Village. I mean, I'm not saying it because I am. I'm saying it from other... I've met lots of other reviewers, as you all know. And... Hello, Charles. Anyone seen your leg? No. <laughs> um, but, yeah. I've, I've, I've found them all to be very approachable. Who I've spoke to. And, uh, you know... I've spoke to ones that not everybody gets along with. But I still speak to them because they've done nothing to me. And... I've had no problems. What's um, Drew said? Hopefully can do it again in May as I can't go there in October. All right, Drew, well, we'll do it again in May. What's that, Chris, saying? If you don't want to speak to your subscribers, close your channel down. If you don't want people coming over and saying hi and thanking you, then you should not be a viewer. I love each and every sub. Do you know what? Chris is right as well. <clears throat> that is very well said, Chris, because that's how we, I think we all are. Rog, I'm bipolar, so meeting everyone is scary. Oh, bless you, Rog. But me and you got on really well. Hi, Taz. Nice to see you. Funny dude, but Gailey, but yeah, Gailey is funner. <laughs> well done. Zan's up to 113. Guys, if you haven't... Zan, if you come on on your pop, pop head one, people could click on it and go to your channel to sub. Just a thought. You heard it first, folks. She wants to have a good time with all her subscribers. Well, we do. We want a good time with our subscribers. I've only had one I wouldn't approach again after they were rude to me. Feel com comfortable on Jules site. Always made me welcome. And so I have people on here. Oh, that's really nice, Alfie. And do you know what? If you get... We, we are friendly here. We don't do drama on this. That's why, we, you know, I do the things that make you go, hmm, and controversial thing. For the simple reason, because everyone knows we don't do drama here. And I'm always sitting on the fence, you know, them splinters in my ass. Then I'm not actually having a go at anyone. It's just putting it out there and no one's there's no right or wrong answer. It's all about having a bit of fun, talking vapes still, but in a controversial way, and like I say, just a bit of fun. So, next one. Do some reviewers, casters, try too hard? And then they come over as fake. So what do you think? Do you do you think some of us reviewers and casters try too hard and then come over as fake i know i try really hard sometimes i don't know if i come over as fake but i do try hard to make sure i entertain you all and please my subscribers mutual respect yes <laughs> Ooh, it's working for you stevie it is do you know what we've got nightbot yay <laughs> yay 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 so, do you think some reviewers casters try too hard and then come over as fake? What's your thoughts on that? Because obviously, like I said, I try hard to make sure I get my show right for you. I know I fuck it over sometimes. There you go, Funko Pop Geek. Now, if you click on his link, you will be able to subscribe. So, do you think? Do you smoke blunts? Charles, I don't know what you're on about. I don't smoke. I vape, darling. I vape. Vape. A vape. So, do you think some reviewers casters try too hard and then come over as fake? What do you think, guys? Every UK reviewer caster is approachable. My opinion, I've had no problem with any of them unless they are in a wheelchair. TBD, I, I use a wheelchair sometimes, you bogger. <laughs> Kevin, but Alpha, you get scones. Yes, scones. Some do, but most don't. Me, I'm just the same... Whether I am casting or not. Exactly. Now, Darren is bunny. Because I said hello, Darren, but it's bunny, apparently. So I got it wrong. Duff. So what's... um? I'm catching up with chat again. What's Cron say? One UK reviewer seems to try too hard, but I'm not going to mention who. That's right, Cron. We don't have to mention names. It's still... 
but it's just our thoughts and just remember guys no one's right or wrong nobody thank you for doing that saying t no i think some are just fake well yeah liz some are i suppose and it's probably not too, due to trying too hard what's our rog saying i think all reviewers try hard at the end of the day they have a lot of info yes to squeeze in we, we do we do and it's not just reviewers, it's casters as well, because we do, you know, we do shows. So at the moment, I'm not reviewing, I'm casting. Gail, you know, the bitches, the casters. And they do have to have the information, so we do have to try hard, but we don't want to try hard as be fake. We still be ourselves, if that makes sense. What's Bill saying? I think most are pretty good. Trying too hard can soon show the cracks. Yes. What's JP saying? What you mean? I always fuck up now. <laughs> Alfie Gailey, I've had some trouble on the Facebook site recently. Two people just being rude and nasty. There's no need for it. I'm new to vaping and it puts me off bothering. That's a wee shame, that is. That is a shame. It really is. So, yeah, so I'm, I'm just, I've, just can't, I've just read what was being deleted. So, village put, I wouldn't call anyone fake, but obviously there is a the odd on-screen persona that is slightly exaggerated version of themselves. Yes, actually, I could agree with that. I could agree with that. So, what's TB put? Yeah, but Empire Vape Co. don't chase you around, expert. <laughs> what's Bunny saying? Yes, I took over Darren's computer. Good. That's good. So what's Taz saying? All the reviewers that I have met have been totally amazing. That's really nice. Don't forget to use live chat, guys, by the way. <laughs> Mr. Victor, trying too hard means trying. Fuck that. I'm too damn lazy. It's nice to see Mr. Victor in my um things that make you go, hmm, bit of controversy. Ziggy. What is no, was Ziggy saying? Why? Why at what, darling? All right then. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I just have some. What's Chris saying? I just have some kind of problem where I can't control what comes out, and it just so happens to end up on YouTube. And there's nothing wrong with that. And that's not fake, is it? That's just being you. Because I know Chris personally as well, um, as a friend, and it certainly isn't fake. What you see is what you get with him. Bill, there are a lot of decent casters. Mistakes are not an issue. It's how they deal with it. Yes. I know why. What Ziggy? We don't get it. Thank you. Everyone's asking. Gailey. Well, Alfie. Oh, you're talking to Alfie. Bar, bar, right. Okay. Hello, Ziggy. <laughs> Hello, Daniel. The Kilted Devil's in. By the way, Daniel provides my coils for when I do any of my reviews that have coils in, like this sort of thing. And if you're interested in any of his coils, please get in touch with him. It is. It does really good ones. They're very clean, very nice. Very nice. And I wouldn't be telling you that if I didn't like them. Alfie, that's right. You just block them. If they're, if they're being arseholes, block them. You don't need them. I think I've caught up yet. No, no, no. Yes, I've caught up. So, we've done it. So we've done it. So, the next question on things that make you go, hmm. Something I've noticed more and more, even at Expo. And this is something I've noticed. Male reviewers seem to get more companies wanting to talk to them even when they have really low numbers. And these same companies ignore or humour the female reviewers. Why do you think this is? Why do you think it is, guys? Now, obviously, um, this is, again, something I've noticed. Now, I'm not having a gripe. I'm not having a moan or anything like that because at the end of the day, we all got to work hard. I mean, I've been at this. My bro, hello, sweetheart. I've been at this now for just over a year. As you all know, I posted my expo thing up as my um, year's anniversary. But why do you think more companies want to talk to the males rather than the females who review or are in the business? Because at the end of the day, apart from a pair of tips and a, a, a willy or a lady's la la, we're still the same, aren't we? We're all human beings. So, why do you think it is? Why? She says, as she looks to see, what's she going to suck on? This one. Yes, dimples is in the ass. Bollocks, I don't agree with that. No one talks to me. <laughs> now, Dave, you're lying. <laughs> you're lying. Oh, shall we do a Chris? What are you lying for? 
<laughs> or we'll do a Vic and uh, the UK Vape show and we'll do a... Um, let's look into that. <laughs> uh, do you know what? I love all these shows. I really do. I love them. Irish, it's a trick of the light. <laughs> Willies and Lalas. Yes, Cron. Willies and Lalas. I'm being polite. Because they think there's more men vapors than female, maybe. Or it's just sexism. Yeah, Sarah, it could be. Stop the bus. Is that a bitchy plastic? Uh, it's because <laughs> it's the one that came with it, Gail, and it's for review. Right? <laughs> Let me change it quick before Gailey has a heart failure. Right, here we go. Hi, Ziggy again. What's I saying? I, about the rest of the viewers, but I only get my own tips. All oh, right, Bill. I couldn't say I've noticed, but there is a skewed idea that women don't understand the technical side, yeah? What's Lucky saying? There is more male reviewers than female. True. <laughs> I like that, what you're saying this. Funko, Chris is laughing. I said Funko and it's ours, Anne. Hi, Nathan. You're right, sweetheart. Nice talking to you on the phone today. JP, I don't want to sound sexism, but but it's due to countries that still see men first before women, which in my eyes is wrong. Yeah, it could be that as well, JP. Rog, I personally think it's a numbers game, not a sex thing. Yeah, it could be that too. Hi, Melinda. Nice to see you. I think it could be that many, but not all, of the female reviewers, influencers, are only seen as a pair of tits mm -hmm, or a pretty face and aren't taken seriously. It could be as well. But I, luckily, I'm not a pretty face, so it's a good job I've got tits. John, why are so many thumbs... John, don't worry about the thumbs down. I've got haters. and Do you know what? I've got to that stage now where I'm like, do you know, if they want to hate... If they want to spend their time watching me just to give me a thumbs down... I get the views. Go ahead, lads, because you're all just... You know what I mean? Seriously. Hopefully, after seeing the screens at Expo, that would check. Yes, because at the screens, they did see us. I don't care. Put it down. <laughs> Why are so many... Th yeah, I've read that, Empire. I am still tempted to do a review in drag and see how it does that doors down. I don't care. That would be cool, actually, Chris. You should get loads of thumbs up. You would off me. So what's our most saying again? Where have we got to? Funky always oh, talking to Zan. Well, obviously women only want the free shit, right? Well, apparently so then, because that's not true though, is it? Hi, Andy. So Ziggy's saying hello to everyone, guys. So everyone say hello to Ziggy, please. Nathan, cheers. Was good finally have a chat. It was Nathan. What's Vic doing? So Kevin saying no, Vic. It's with having too many steak. Yes, yeah, so, all right then. Let's go on to steak bakes. Yes. Gaily, Christina is too gorgeous. I know. Christina puts me to shame. She's a sexy woman. Hopefully in time, female reviewers reviews will make more of a stamp in the vapor world. Yeah. And I, do you know, anyone who was actually at Expo would have noticed, right? They had the screens up. Big, these big, big, big fuck off screens, right? And they did have the men. They had Vic, they had MF, you know, all the usuals. Great people, don't get me wrong. It was absolutely lovely seeing them. And then they had the last two on there. They had Sean Pud Puffs as well, actually. But the last two on there was me and then the bitches. We were the only females. That way, I mean, but don't get me wrong. It was great because we were noticed. I mean, Gailey could probably say that. you and We were noticed, weren't we? I can name 10 plus females that have... More companies talk to them just because they get their titties out. Maybe I should start getting mine out. Maybe I should too, Dave, then. But I'm not going <laughs> to. Jules, you can send the haters my way. Oh, no, I'll keep the haters. I like them. Jules, sorry, nurse. Okay, you go and sort yourself out with the nurse, my darling. Liz, I wanted to think if there were more females reviewers, this wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I mean, there is quite a few of us now, I think. Um, but, well, Nathan, I'm not bothered who's doing the vape reviews, either a woman or a man, as long as they're doing a fab job. Yes, that's nice, Nathan. Okay, what's this? Gotta walk into work. Oh, okay, sweetheart. See you later, Cron. Love you much, Lay. Rog, nothing's free. Takes a bottle of juice, 15 quid review for that bottle of juice all bloody day. Filming, editing, uploading. Not free anymore, is it? Do you know what? It's not. I'm, I'm going to say this, right? I think our screen time was based on numbers. Yes. 
today I did some the last bit of my filming that I didn't get to do on Sunday. Get them out for the lads to wait. <laughs> no, seriously though, <laughs> I did the last bit of camera down filming today, which takes a while in case you get it wrong. And I was struggling because I've got new lights and that, so I was trying it with that. I don't know how it's worked out. I need to have a look at it again later. So after I did all that, and you've got to sort it out, I then did a review, a DIY, what's Melinda put? It's TBD, there are unfortunately quite a few women in the industry who only seem to believe they are only be noticed if they concentrate on their physical appearance rather than their knowledge. Yes, true. See you later, Nathan. You take care. Love you much, they. So, um, where was I? I've lost my train of thought now. What the fucking excuse? Have a vape, Jules. Have a vape. You lost your hand in the wall. Ziggy, are you now the one who lost his leg and not long ago? And had to change. Yeah, you come in as Ziggy. We do need more women reviewers. And we do get negative attention at times. But, you know, it, it's just the way it goes. Now, who can remember what I was talking about? Because I was on a good thing. I've lost my train of thought. Bad, bad. But there is quite a few women. And I've noticed that. Not a lot. I find there's more women on Facebook doing it, though, than there is actually on YouTube, if that makes sense. Well, I know people don't watch the bitches for tits. We are, are very careful with that. Exactly, Gail. We don't get them out. We're, we're normal people. Hi, Andy. Nice to see you, sweetheart. Oh, Ziggy's in Iraq. Oh, okay. Sorry that you've lost your hand or a limb. Rog, you were fit. Yes, right, that's it, I was. Thank you, Rog. So, I did my camera down stuff today. And that I didn't get a chance to finish on Sunday. So, I just finished all that. And then I got on with the DIY review. Which took quite a while. I know it's not like a big thing. Because if any of you watched it, it's not goes on forever. But after you've done that review, you've then got to check it all. Make sure it's all right. Edit bits and bobs. Then you've got to upload it and all this and, you know, well, you've got to export it. Well, first of all, you've got to put it together with your, your music and all your extra bits. You've got to put all that on. Then you've got to export it. But before you export it, you've got to re-watch it, see if it all still flows. Then you export it. Once it's exported, then you rename it in your save file in your computer and then you start uploading so you upload it to YouTube, you upload it to VapeTube, then you share it on the groups that you've had permission, and then Instagram and Twitter and all that. And before you know it, there's a couple of hours gone. What's Mark saying? Loving the vape community. Community. I only started using Squonk Mod. Tops like dual good choice there a few weeks ago and the help advice and info that i got to get started was awesome now the same with diy juice there we go so that's good fun isn't it it really is but yeah so by the time you've done all that your day's gone i mean my day today i'm just going to give you a rough idea of what today's been for me right got up this morning as usual do your normal stuff while I've got my parrots out, I'm doing my washing, then I'm having to shut the parrots in the lounge, run out, put it on the line, back in, check if they've pooed or anything, sort all that. By the time they've gone in and I've fed them and whatnot, I'm then still finishing my washing and cleaning. Then I'm trying to do reviews. I was still busy at it when Stevie got home. That's that's how long it takes. I was fetching... And then I've made the bed because I stripped the bed in this, that, and So, you know, people say, as a reviewer, you know, you just... You just throw out these reviews. You still have everything else to do. And get your reviews out. And it's time consuming. The reviewing part is time consuming. Hi, Ronnie. What's our Bill saying? I watch reviews because they are decent reviewers or vape similarity. Also the ones who take a bit of time to understand who is watching. Yep. What's well, says She would have a kick to my currents. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So what? Basra. Okay. Hi, Roy. Oh, Michelle. <laughs> As well. My little darling. Hello, hello, hello. So, TB, what I think the problem is, is China still live in the past with the female promoters getting the sales, when in fact female male reviewers are the ones that actually make the sales. Exactly. I think that makes it fun. And if you save money, happy wife, happy life. Yes, Mark. It's true. 
I think really, you know, yeah, obviously if you've got these women looking all gorgeous, you go to um you go to these expos and whatnot, and you see all these women like that. But that doesn't make you want to buy something, does it? Just because there's a woman there who's looking all sexy with her boobies at. It, you know, it's same as if it was a man there, you know, with his ripped chest and all that. That's not going to get me to go over. I'm going over if I'm interested in what they're actually selling and not uh, what they've got, you know, draped like this and, oh, look at me, and, mm, and all that. No. And I'm sure most people are the same. We've actually caught up. I can't believe it. We've done it. We've caught up with everything that we missed last week, guys. I'm really pleased with that. I thought it would take me longer. I really did. So, sub questions that anyway. So, why do you think this is and how can we get it to change? So, how do you think we can get this to change for them to take women more seriously? I mean, I don't expect anyone to take me, like, dead serious. You know, yeah, I do. I, I share my... my thoughts on things please donate to help my new house uh no ziggy we don't donate to you sweetheart sorry you can't be doing that can somebody remove that i'm having trouble all of a sudden i wonder if i can actually write in chat just just gonna try oh yeah i can why can't i remove that post can one of my um spanners remove please donate Thank you, if you wouldn't mind. Hi, Michelle. Yeah, Michelle's gorgeous. So, anyway, I found there were more women salespeople than men, and one I spoke to didn't know what the fuck. Well, yeah, a lot don't know what direct look to long and mouth to long is. They have these people selling who don't understand or know the products. Yes, that's true. If I took my retired six-pack out, would it have effect on sales to women? <laughs> of course, Kevin. <laughs> That's right. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, village darlings. Lovely. So, how can we get this to change, do you think? How do you think we can get them to change? Am I doing that? Let's have another vape on a pod. Need some nicotine. Ziggy, no. So, how are we going to get that to change? I think we might have to um, get rid of that one, don't you, guys? Obviously, it's a, it's a little troll. I mean, we can leave him if you want. We can just keep playing with him. Dion! <laughs> you know what I mean? We don't mind playing with the trolls, do we? <laughs> Melinda, I think if you and the other ladies just keep doing what you are doing things will change you're pioneering in the vape review scene yeah yeah i think so and i know the bitches are because i mean you know in the uk they're the only women as well that's fucking amazing who do a show, casting show like that they are so yeah why has rog been why has rog been hidden i like rog what did he write he's a friend low dilly gaff why has he been hidden for that? I don't think um, Rog should have been hidden, guys. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You've unhidden him. Yeah, he's probably scamming. Rog, I think it was an accident. You you're, you posted just after that guy, so... Yeah. Hello, sweetheart. So, how else can we change it? Melinda had a good point. We just keep doing what we're doing. We keep plugging. Let me um open this blind. This now, the sun's... Not so blurry. I had to shut this because the sun was actually burning my face at one point. So what do you reckon? It was a mistake. <laughs> it was a mistake. Yeah, I thought so. Hello, UK Andy. Nice to see you, sweetheart. So how can we change it? How can we get the... When we're the likes of Expos, when we, we're trying to get noticed and talk to vendors... How else can we change it so the takers as females more seriously? What do you think, guys? I'm loving this. I'm shocked. I need it cute. My little pixie. Not pixie. And the wobble. It don't wobble when you're vaping on it, funny enough. And, guys, again, let me just remind you, um, I am sponsored now by Pod Salt. Here we go, pod salt. And if you want any of this stuff, go to my vapery. Just tip 
type in my vapor you'll find them put in if there's something you want to order put in jewels in capitals 20 and you'll get 20 percent off and that includes anything that's on sale you'll still get an extra 20 percent off if you use my code right so what's roy put sex has been selling things for years and years i don't believe you should try and change things just do your own thing and keep going yeah that i totally understand tighten your not too crazy just keep doing what you're doing ladies yeah but i just wondered if you thought there was anything else we could do because i mean at the end of the day it is nice to get your input like i say i do this this show and this is about communicating with people who subscribe or you don't even have, it's not everyone who comes on here subscribes you just come just for a nosy whatever spam you know give the thumbs down all that but what else do you think we as females could do to make things better? Or are we doing everything right? Let me put my pad over there out of the way because we don't need it now. Are we doing things right and we just keep going? What do you think? Oh, I'm loving this. The Passage. And it's, it's actually all right. And I, I think I know why it's called The Passage because I was reading some of the stuff and it's to do with the way... The airflow goes in this. It's got a passage. And that's why I've called it that. Apparently. I think the only way it will change is when there is more serious female reviewers that won't flop their baps out. True, village. True. That is true. A lot of you agree it. I think the only way for women to be taken more seriously is just keep going and ignore the... Yes detractors i think you are not doing anything wrong at all okay so that's it i'll just we we'll just keep plugging along we keep going we don't care I, well i've got no intention of stopping i mean at the end of the day i'm enjoying what i do i enjoy chatting with you all and i enjoy sharing my thoughts of things that i am using and letting you know i'm not i don't break it down dead technical and things like that because there's, there's other reviewers, much better reviewers than me out there who do that. I mean, Vic for one goes into a lot more detail. If you want that kind of detail, that's who you go to. But people still come to me because they like the fun aspect I do. And I just, I do it, keep it short and sweet. I'm just trying to keep it straight to the point. Yeah, we have a laugh. Um, and I just like to, you know, what I think of it. At the end of the day, obviously, everything is subjective, whether it's your flavours or what you prefer to use to vape on. But I do like to keep it subjective. Now, as you can see, I've got a few pods on the go. I've got three actually on the go today. There was a lot of pods about, by the way. Let's have a look at what's going off. Why not? Yeah, so Roy, Jules, to be honest, one reason you are successful, successful is because of your sexual in innuendos, as well as being a good viewer. So in essence, that is sexual. I don't do sexual in innuendos, do I? Behind a strong man is an even stronger woman. Yes, just do what you're doing. Do I do? Well, everyone keeps saying I do these um, innuendos, but I don't believe it. Well, I just, I just, I'm me. I'm just me. So, mm, does that make, it's not fake. It's not, it's just me being me. I don't even know how I could stop being me and change. Is it a good thing? Should I try and change? Pod. Oh, that's nice. Pod. No, no, no. Female reviewers should do it naked. Okay, Gav. Oh, wait. The beers are open, love. Yeah, just about everything starts out male-orientated. Yes, Kevin. But I'm glad to see ladies going against the float. Yeah, village. Yeah, you do, Jules. Unintentionally, though. Okay. Bill, this might sound sexist, but it isn't. Isn't it what you, Gail and Emily, that helped me at Expo? I became quite scared, especially in male-only company. Well, yeah, and you find that as women, we're quite accepting. But then you find the blokes were very accepting too. Liz doesn't want me to change. Oh, good, because I don't know how I would. <laughs> I really don't. I tried today, if anyone noticed. When I did my review today, at the end, I didn't say love you much, Lee. Did anyone notice? No. Even in the comments, nobody noticed that I didn't end my review saying love you much, Lee. And I thought, I wonder if anyone will pick up... I've got the hiccups now. Anyone will pick up on that? You didn't. I'm going back to it, by the way. I just wanted to see if anyone noticed. 
Emily, I won't. I won't change. <laughs> So anyway, I'm going to, this brings me on to something else actually, it's just come to me. Reviewers, again, it's another, there's no right or wrong answer here guys, remember, it's all about things that make you go, hmm, make you think about it. So what's Liz just put? Yeah, I was fucking fuming. <laughs> I haven't blocked out swear words, I wonder why you, that was, oh, because it's standard ones with bloody nightbot. So, do some reviewers, say some. Use the fact that they're reviewers. What's Gailey says, Jules, you couldn't change if you tried. I know, I can't try. It, do some reviewers who have got high numbers or even low numbers think they're better than each others and expect more? Ex do you know what I'm saying? Expect more? Is that true? What do you think? Saint. You bloody bugger. You know that whip? Remember, I know where you live, a binchy ass. You have got where you are by being... Yeah, stay the way I am. I will, I'm <laughs> chicken. I will. Let's not have none of that chicken salt um, arguments. None of that in here, please. Remember, runny, naughty. Let's all keep it nice. All my subscribers are welcome. Don't forget to tune in Friday. Yes, for Twitch for... The women, yes, all right. I, w I would have said it anyway. I've been going on about the bleeding bitches because all I ever talk about are the bitches. And as soon as Switch starts getting her reviews out, it'll be as I'll be talking about her because at the end of the day, I want to promote the women. I really do. Now, for that, you need to come round and help me sort out my bloody Patreon, Zanny boy, my darling. Definitely. Yes, I think some get a bit carried away with themselves and need a good kick to the balls to keep them grounded. Yeah, saying that's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, I'll be round then. <laughs> I think it's true, but I don't think it's intentional. Some, it might not be. I I am a t I am tiny and I don't expect a thing at all. I am truly appreci appreciative of every sub, like or anything given for a review. Yeah, Roy, I'm the same. But I'm on about some, not all, not me, not you, it, some. And I've got no names, just saying it. I think some reviewers get too big for their boots just because of a few numbers and actually forget where they started. Exactly, Dave, I think that could be true too. Village, I think it's true for every small minority of reviewers, but not for the majority of them. Yeah, because remember, there's no right or wrong answer here, guys. It's all going to be different, all different. Who the fuck are you calling Zanny Boy? <laughs> <laughs> my zanny boy <laughs> i don't know where that came from <laughs> oh you're welcome switch <laughs> well i don't even know where it come from zanny boy <laughs> <laughs> don't make me laugh come on i've got to stay normal as normal as i can be right <laughs> for fuck's sake girl kicking balls now going to need a jock strap watching bitches <laughs> i thought you would anyway just in case Well, that was quickly answered, guys. You did well. Okay, where's the unsub button I'm at? <gasps> no, please, Zan, love you. <laughs> protective cup, Kev. Yeah, that's what Bunny says, protective cup. Some give total bullshit reasons for not doing things. Yep. Yeah. Hi, Kev. Hello. Oh, I al al uh, can't even say it. Aloha. Don't call him Zanny boy now. You'll go mad. You come on, don't, don't. I don't do it again. What was the question again? I missed it. Oh, um, do some reviewers think, because they're, you know, reviewers, that they should get more stuff or be treated better, or expect some things, even though they haven't gotten, you know, that sort of thing? I think the odd one who has become a bit big for the British will be like that in every life. Yeah, because that's true. In everyday life, because a lot of these things, even if we're talking about vapors, it can happen in the no, the outside normal world. Yeah. Hold on. Let's unhide that. Show. Oh, so it's done. Who did it? I can't see it now. So I don't expect anything. Not free shit. Not shout outs. Nothing. I don't even expect respect. Everything is earned. Yes, it is. We have to earn it. I mean, I've been slogging away. Just over a year, and I'm going to continue. I'm enjoying it. 
And when I stop enjoying it, that's when I stop and go. Don't call him that. He'll just slap me. Sainty. It was a mistake, Zan. Sorry. You can upset him. And if you get all upset him, he, then I get upset because he tells me off. Irish. Yeah, his tweets are epic, actually. What's this? Some people... Oh, gosh, I can't read it. Show. Some people are just ag ar arrogant, yes. And they can fuck off. I have no... It's going too fast. Oh, God, when I've had this with me. Where was we? Fuck off. I have no time for it yet. Yeah, Leave of course, some do, yes. I think it's personality trait. That they see a certain number of subs, think that so many people like them, and their ego goes well. Yes, they get a big head. Woo, 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 woo. See, look now, Zan's gone, cause I made that mistake. Gailey, please tell him I'm sorry. I don't even know where it came from. It just came out. Saying you're gonna get a key. yeah, you are. Hi, TC, by the way. I've caught up. I have caught up. Switch. You get my you get me back you get me back what you put you get back, sorry, what you put in. We earn it. If you're nice then people are nice back, not just yeah, materialistic. Yes, agreed. But do you know what? Like I say, in life there's always gonna be somebody different and you're always gonna get somebody who thinks they're better than somebody else and We'll try and tread, walk on the little person. Or even if they've got small numbers, they're like, hey, 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 I want this. And they're not prepared to pay. Because I did see, I actually did see this expo. I'm not saying names again. But I seen, two, uh, well, two people who wanted something. And because they couldn't have it without paying, didn't want it. Because they're reviewers. I think that's right. I've ordered. I, I do buy. And when something is giving me free, I'm very appreciative. But I'm quite happy to pay as well. Tell them good luck finding a hat to fit that big head of theirs. Yeah. Gailey, I think it can be flattering to see your hard work paying off. There is a difference between appreciating the attention and subs and getting a big ego. There is a difference. Because it's nice to get the subs, don't get me wrong. I'm always excited and very happy for it. But you can't be big headed, can you? That's TBD Rosaries. You mean the ones with the vape drama queen? Well, yes, you do have some good tweets on instagram i'm not a reviewer but you must all bow down before me okay liz we are not worthy how about that not worthy bowing down <laughs> i would bow down to her i love her anyway she's absolutely lovely i'm gonna have a quick drink guys throat's getting a bit dry it's all this talking mm. So we've come to realise sex sells and some some people are big headed and expect more than others. So sex sales. Do you think some reviewers think they should get a little bit of mm 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 because of who they are? What do you think of that? I don't know if this happens. I'm just saying it now, since sex sells, do you think some expect a little bit, you know, a little bit of how's your father? That could be male or female, by the way. What do you think? Hey, you'll all get a swish of my cape and lumpies. <laughs> Bill, I was given stuff and appreciate it. There were companies I like and use anyway. Yeah. Da Bunny, I bow to no one. I bow to nobody. So do you think we expect it? There's me as well. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, I'm a reviewer. So I'm in that category as well. I knew for God's no man. I knew for God's no man. Women, on the other hand, <laughs> Alfie, reviewers all started at the bottom. Think some forgot that. Yes, and we all did. <laughs> Hubby. But yeah, we. I mean, we all started at one or zero to start with. We put our first review out. Some people, you know, got the re got numbers before they put a review out. But majority of us, we put the review out first. And then we built the numbers up. And we've had to work hard to get to where we are. I mean, I know I have anyway. 
I've had to work hard at it, you know. I've had to walk around and I've had to talk to people on my, ho on my own and keep going back so they see me, you know, the next time and they get used to seeing me and still be pleasant, be nice and buy things even though they know you're a viewer, you know, you give them your card and things like that but you've got to always be pleasant and you've just got to do it, you've got to put yourself out there. I know of one ex-reviewer that got laid at Expo last year just for the free bottle of juice. You see, there you go. Just for a free bottle of juice. See you later, lethal darling. Let me tell you now, by the way, I would not be opening my legs for no fucking free bottle of juice. No mod, no nothing. Ask Steve No nothing. <laughs> Ask the husband. <laughs> Just don't happen. <laughs> We're married. <laughs> done now no but you see there it shows that some people do it and that's it that's a shame because he knows of one just for something free they'll do that kevin not a perv girls but we'll be watching your knees if ever we meet carpet burns and such <laughs> i'll make sure i wear jeans <laughs> then you won't say those people who have a direct line to samaritans <laughs> Honey, I love you. Mwah. I do, I do, I do. I don't like the look of that. No, do you think that's ugly? Look at the colour. What do you think, guys? I think nobody has the right to expect anything, be it sex or products. Yeah, Drew. Is this how you get free juice expo? I missed the trick. Yeah, Drew. Me and you, we were walking around. We missed it, didn't we? <laughs> we should have done something. <laughs> we might have got something. <laughs> what do y'all think of that? The colour? Shorts. Bill, I wear shorts. <laughs> you see, when I wear shorts, they're just like near enough three quarters. Anyway, they're over the knee. <laughs> I'm just short anyway. <laughs> and if it's villagers' shorts when we was at Expo, if I'd wore his, there'd be trousers. That's full glare. There we go, it isn't it, Bill? It's the colour, I think. It's garish, isn't it? I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, a beginner, a newbie-ish person would enjoy it. It's, you know. But, oh, anyway, I've got the review to come up to do for this anyway, but I'm still using it. Yeah, Drew, agree, I agree. Sinna! I agree. It's a bit, a bit ugly, isn't it? I don't know what they're doing with this snake pattern print hiccups i mean look let's have a close-up i mean serious there stop coil it's good for a beginner still sigella so you know but you see girl won't like this what do you think gayla mark no jewels they're bloomers <laughs> what do you think gail think this is pishy plasticky sort of thing girl would hate it Looks like it's from the pan shop. I know, and yeah, it's Sigella. It's the Zebra E2 kit. Yeah, the mixture of the finishers clash. I think it does. Kevin likes it, but then I like it. Right, okay. <laughs> What's so... Um, sorry, Stevie, sorry. Hi, mate. Okay. Sin so, you know, ugly isn't the word. Looks like you're sucking on Tiger's penis. <laughs> Thank you. That's really made me feel really much better now doing that. Thanks. Is there no... Is there? Was there no snake skin? Would look okay. Yeah, it's sort of a snake skin pattern. But, I mean, that colour. Looking at it... That is like looking in the mirror. Oh, I have no time for Sigeli in recent times. Yeah. It's a bit gearish, but each to their own, I suppose. Yeah, Village. I mean, it's for review at the end of the day, guys. And you do get different colours. Um, I was kind of hoping I got red. Red or the black, but I got this, I don't know, sort of orangey colour. But that's for review. And then when it's reviewed, it'll be cleaned up, popped away as well. Let me hide the um, tip on this because it, it really upsets Gail. Because it is for review, so I'm keeping the tip on. They were selling off the last kit for 20 quid cheaper than China. Really? Ooh. So, <clears throat> I had another question for you. Now, 
I have my feelings on this and I'll share them with you after, aren't yours? Say a reviewer, a big reviewer, or big reviewers fall out with another reviewer. Should the smaller reviewers pick a side? Should they pick a side? Or should they stay on the fence? Even if they agree with the bigger reviewers, but since this thing never happened to them, should they stay completely neutral? No, Mark, I won't lose that on a night out, even though if I tried. Don't give it away, it's cruel, Liz. It's going in the giveaway, regardless. It will be cleaned up and popped in the bin where it belongs. No, it will go in the giveaway, because this, this is going to be somebody who's newbie who's going to enjoy using it. No. Is that the answer? Just no, straight away. There's no explanation. Let's Come on, expand. Expand on your nose. Expand, please, guys. I want to know. Nope, it's down to the individuals. Big boy pants and all that. Yeah. But you've also got to remember that... Oh, excuse me again. Took a mouth for that. These big reviewers, right? Nobody's done this, guys, by the way. But some of these big reviewers could end the smaller reviewers' career. They really could... Well, it's career, you know. They could, they could end it. So you've also got to think of that, guys. So what are you thinking? Stay neutral and keep out of drama, Mark says. Hello, Marsh. Hello, darling. Don't get involved. Stay on the fence. We don't all know what has fully caused the drama yet. Switzerland. We like Switzerland here. Sinner, if, like, if Stevie fell out with your best friend, would you leave Stevie or stop seeing your best friend? I always choose my husband, to be honest with you, over a best friend. Seriously. Although, no, nah, because I've still got, I've got friends that Stevie don't like. And they're still friends, so that's, yeah, well. Just because of us fall out don't mean anyone else needs to pick sides. Sam says, fill up on the splinters, stay on the fence. It's not your, it's not you involved yet. Village, it's up to them, but they shouldn't feel like they have to yet. Jules, I like the combo you're holding. You like that? Seriously. Well, you may never know, you might win it <laughs> when I do it. Liz, reviewers can make their own minds up. Who are we to judge? Well done, Roy. No, it's not about size, but if you disagree with what has happened, you have your own opinion at the end of the day. We are all individuals. Very nicely put. TC, sorry, got to go. Oh, wow. Go on, get the wee one sorted. Lily! Sorry, I was just shouting to Lily. So, uh, where was we? Uh, da, 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 da. Da, um, bunny, sorry. No, if two people fall out, that's on them and they only, and them only. Unless some twat tries to drag me into it, I stay well out of it. Yep, sinner. If the bigger reviewers, then they want to try and end your YouTube career, they were never friends in the first place. Yep. Bill, if they agree with the other reviewer, then a side is just a human nature. They should give a reason if they must take a side. Okay, yeah. Melinda, I think it's not about taking sides as such. A person might agree with something that's being said, but unless it directly impacts on you, stay out of it. Yep. Irish, what fucking side? <laughs> I'm sick of that mentality, to, to be honest. Us versus them. In my honest opinion, if someone didn't do anything or you or anything completely deplorable, why would you hate them if you have already have them great? Yep. Nobody should force another to take a side. Yep. Oh, you do like it, do you, John? I will just go with your opinion and leave it at that. Yeah, Bill, I will try to find out the facts behind it. But opinions vary. Depends on the situation. Yes, it does. Now, you all know, I tend to stay on the fence. If it's not impacting me, I sit on the fence. I'm Switzerland, you know. I'll get the splinters. I don't care. But if it does impact me, then that's different. And even if I know what's happened and I was there when something happened and I totally agree with why they fell out. Because it didn't happen to me, I still stay on the fence. And sometimes I'll think to myself, is that really a right thing to do? Because if I know it was wrong what they did, should I be staying on the fence? On them circumstances? Now answer me that, guys, because we're on about me. Ooh. What would you think? What do you think? 
Irish, I always saw... Oh, I already talked about Say, selling to kids. <laughs> Keep your mouth shut, but eyes and ears peeled. Yeah, Gailey, what was the question? Was getting the... Oh, bless you. So I've changed my question now. I was saying... It was all about sitting on the fence, and I'm Switzerland. So what I've said is... So let's see if it's me now. Because I sit on the fence a lot. I'm Switzerland. But what if I know that what I was there when something was done... To somebody else and I totally agree with why that person fell out should I still stay as like I am Switzerland even though I totally agree with them falling out but because it didn't impact me I have no say what are your thoughts there guys what are your thoughts the one giving the ultimatum will always lose yep if it doesn't affect me I stay on the fence but do have an opinion just keep it to myself yes rog now, ooh, Dave, now, in capital letters, now. If things are being said behind closed doors and other reviewers have been slagged off or whatever, then it should be down to the other reviewers to let those know. So you think we should tell people if they're being slagged off? Ooh, Dave, expand. Mark, you would support your friends but keep it between yourselves, yep. Melinda, if you think something is ethically or morally wrong, then of course you should speak up, yes. Liz, I would just have your back no matter what, Jules, because I love you. Oh, <laughs> love you too, Liz. Love you too, my baby. Roy, I do what I normally do. Speak to the person head on and not over a live channel or show. Yeah, that's a good thing. Bill, I tend to ignore the cli cliques. If they go for me, then they will be in for a fight. Put a up. Yep. So me, just stay as I am. Stay neutral. Stay you know, but if I disagree, you know, if I think somebody's wrong, I can still share that with my friend and say, whoever it was, you know, I totally agree and I respect the fact that you fell out with that person. I totally agree why, but because it's not me, I've got to stay out of it. Sorry, Jules, got to go. Okay, keep up the great work. Oh, I love you much, Lynn. Take care, Taz. Hope your eyes are sorting. It's only just after eight, so we've got a bit of time to kill guys because I want to be off by half past. Although, I don't even know. Does Paul McCarthy have a show at eight? Vape Don't Smoke? If he does, do you want me to finish now, guys, so you can all get over there to Vape Don't Smoke? Because you know I don't like treading on people's toes and things like that. What's that? I'm just a... I speak up if there is an injustice or have a strong opinion. I will talk directly to the person involved. I cannot abide false face people. Where you go, Gayle? I'm just a rude bastard, period. Neighbor who wants to talk to me. Kevin, we're always talking to you. Drew, I told a reviewer they were being slagged off. Then I was told I was just out to cause drama, which I wasn't. But everything just gets labelled as drama. Yes. Can I phone a friend, Jules, or have a 50-50, please? <laughs> phone a friend. I can respect an opinion. Yes, Bill, I can. If, if I disagree with that. Right. Hi, Rev. So Dave says, hell yeah. If I have a problem with you, Stevie, Vic, Chris, Gailey or whoever, I'm going to let you know about it. I don't do shady bastards. I prefer honest, upfront people, even if it's something I won't like. You see, that's the way to go, isn't it? It's Paul McCartney, you arse. My arse. Did I call him Paul McCaffney again? I did say Vape Don't Smoke, though. Yeah, he's doing his live interrogation show. Yes, he is. Do you want me all to finish? Do you want me to finish, guys, early so you can get over there? I think that's down to the individual and their moral position on the matter. If you agree with why they fell out, you just tell the person in the wrong and say not what to get involved. Yeah, and say that's it. You just tell him, I don't agree with what you did to such and such. Yep. Whatever drama people have is to do with yourself. I don't think going other people's fees, asking their opinions, yeah? He's right, he's all, yeah. So what do you want me to do, guys? Do you want me to finish early tonight so you can get over to watch Paul McCarthy? Thank you for the great show. Very informative and got me thinking, which is rare. That's all right, Mark. <laughs> I like to make people think honest because I can't. <laughs> Yes, I do, Jules. Look forward to the review. Well, I will be doing the review. And I, do you know what I mean? Join it. For your information, I don't have a problem with those mentioned. Oh, Dave, that's so lovely. What's that? Hell no stuff then. <laughs> Bud, hello. You fell asleep on the couch. How bloody dare you? 
Yes, get off. I've got work to do. My would be what I'm supposed to get off because I kicked him out. No, finish at your normal time. This is your channel. There we go. I watch Dean tomorrow being on fake channels all day long. Ooh. Repeat after me, McCartney. Mac Paul McCartney, you fucking tit. Can you all let my husband call me a tit? Paul McCartney. All right. <laughs> you watch Dean tomorrow. Okay. I'm too lazy to be two-faced. I just take the piss and I'm a... Yes. I, I'm, I, do you know what? There's no right, right being two-faced, is it? Stay on. We can catch up later. Okay, Gav, I'll stay on. It's just I don't, you know... I always stay on usually to half past, but I know Dean's on and I know a lot of people support them as well because, you know, a few people have dropped out and if you want, would rather go over there, I'm quite happy to stop. Vape talk is live, babe. Yeah, he is. Stay on. Okay, village. Jules, do what you want to do regardless and leave. Yeah, all right then. <laughs> you fucking did. Thank you, Liz. <laughs> I always get it wrong. Think the Beatles. Build that city scene. What I used to do is think the Beatles and think, but he's not put he's not the Beatles. So I changed his name. Oh, okay, Drew. That's alright. Then you got to both Yeah, I tried doing that. You know with me having two screens. I've tried doing it and I can't concentrate. It it merely uh, messes with me. I, I can't I just can't do it. No, you don't love him, Dave. Don't love him because I'm a fucking dick. He comes in here, large in it. You fucking tit, large in it. <laughs> I mean, who does he think he is? You know what I mean? Is there a ring on this finger? Is there a ring on this finger? He can't tell me what to do. <laughs> she says now trying to put her rings back on. Stevie is my hero. Oh, if I called my wife a tit, I'd be on the couch to brought her some shiny to say sorry. <laughs> Hi, Chris. Just over from work. Gosh, that was a long day for you, darling. What should we try this time? Let's have Mike Vape's Recurve Jewel. Get a good squishy squish. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. A bit of this as well. He's, a fe he's fecking right, though. Well, Gail, I know he's right, and I know I'm a tit, Gail, did you say sorry to Zam for me? Just let me know if you did and if he's forgiven me. Fuck me, next week she'll be calling Paul Yoko. No, I could do. I think he thinks he's balls of steel, Stevie. Do you know what? He'll pay later. Because <laughs> he's, you know, I'll, I'll get him, Rev. With the ever-expanding... Oh, God, you use these big words. Plethora of talented people on the review scene. Nobody will soon find a minute where there's a clashing of shows. That's great for the viewers. It's a positive thing. Yeah, it is. I mean, I change, I used to always do my show, everyone knows, at 8 o'clock. Back when I was with the VUKM. And then when we stopped, I started doing it on my channel, same time. And then a few other shows started at that time. So I swapped my time. I was going to swap to a Monday. But everyone just swapped my time. So I swapped my time to 7 o'clock. So I tried not to clash too much with people but i can't keep moving my show times ha 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 sinner i'm loving the recurve jewel i am actually i'm loving it i'm gonna get him yes baby gave him food oh god that was funny do you know what i don't know how my husband disc come in it calling me a twat Oh, no, no, not a twat even. A tit. Me. I'm not a tit. I'm my guys. I am just so normal. Has anyone been having problems with their topside jewels? There's, oh, yeah. There is a question for you. Yes. Anybody? Now, my topside's been playing up. It's back working. At, oh, no. It, says, it does say check Atomaz, but it's back working again. But every now and again, it stops working and it says um, short. Tells me there's a short when there isn't, or it's just you know tells me the batteries, batteries are dead when they're not. Anybody else having these sort of problems? Because I've got one, two, three, I've got four, including the single, and this one's playing up again. And it was working. We got it working, and now yes, Jules, you're a tit, and we love you for it. Oh, thanks, Sinor. I'm love because I'm a tit. <laughs> You don't want us answering that question. <laughs> no, okay, Irish. Yes, you're t all right. <laughs> Clean the contact. <laughs> we've cleaned them. We've cleaned the contact contacts contacts, 
and it's working again. Even after he cleaned it, it wouldn't work. But all of a sudden, the next day, it just started working on its own. You do the, the times you suit Jules. With the amount of live shows going, it's now impossible for those to be uh, any overlapping. I know, but I, I try not to. It says check your battery. It does. But this time, it's working fine now. It allows say check your battery or it tells you there's a short. Anybody else been having that problem? Because this isn't even a year old, this one. Is it? No, got this one in October, guys. It's not even a year old. Who doesn't have a good love a good tip? Well, true sinner. So has anybody else been having their only problems with their top side? It's nothing to do with juice. There's no liquid. There's no juice getting in behind here. None of that. It's just the the. It's a chip. I think the chip is playing up. Think what Shez has said. Apples and trees. Yeah, my daughter the baguette. It's a solder issue. They'd only fix it to take it apart and resolder it. Do you think, Irish, it's because it, it is definitely something... I thought it might be the chip or something. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it's a loose contact and it keeps going. Contacts have been cleaned and still plays up. Put batteries in the new one last night and it did the same thing. Yeah, the brand new one did it to start with. This... Uh, not this one, sorry. This was a new one unwrapped. That played up and now it works. I had that with a certain batteries yeah okay liz so certain batteries chris i don't know i'm gonna try i might have to see if there's an update saint has had no trouble you see don't, i've never had no trouble with this my single funny enough now i'm ho i've not had trouble with the carbon with the yee one so i'm wondering if that's why they actually went to a yee chip in the end maybe it was something that they've realized was a problem yeah I had a similar problem and got it replaced no juice nothing like that but you are not the only one, right? Hi, Justin. Nice to see you, sweetheart. So I'm not the only one who's had that. Now, I'm thinking the Yee chip is why they've done it. There is an update. I'll try it then. I don't know if that's why they have went. Yes, I was just saying that, hubby, if they've gone with the Yee one. So what do you think, guys? Do you think that's why they've gone with the Yee chip now, this one? It's not even focusing in for you, but it does say Yee Fucking thing. Camera. Well, take my word for it, it's the Yee one, it's the carbon one, right? Do you think that's why they changed it to that? Anyone recommend a personalised mod company? Cheers, guys. Right, can anyone recommend a personalised mod company for Alfie? Sounds like a dry joint. I've read it a lot. Okay, switch. Lost screen brightness on mine, got it replaced, and the second one seems okay for now, yeah. My single back top side leaks juice in the battery bag. Does it say in tea? Okay. I've never had a problem with my jewel so far. So, some people are alright, some aren't. And I'm wondering if that's why, though, they've gone for the one with the Yee chip. Because, you know, it might be better. Is there an update since when? Yeah, I, I, I didn't know there was, but, I mean, well, check. They always planned the Yee Hee collaborate. Oh, right, so they always planned it, so it had nothing to do with the fact that the keep, some, a lot of people have been having faults. Really? Hmm. Hatchet mods. There you go. Four 3D printer mods. I have one of their mods and love it. There you go, Alfie. I've seen this and fixed it about 50 times. If I was a bat betting man, I'd bet it's a dry soldier joint between the two batteries. Right. Rev, I'm going with Bill's guess explanation. If it was the chip, there would be many more reports. Yeah. So we need to, I need to get this sorted. Obviously, I need that looking at, don't I? Need this looking at. Because it's working at the moment, but I, don't, I haven't used it because it's like, well, for how long? I didn't take it out of the house if I use it. Just in case. Do you know Jay's Alfie, Jay's Vape Reviews, he's got a Facebook page. And he's started making mods. Could get contact him as well. Come on. Common problem with the dual battery mods. There you go, says Irish. Common problem. I wonder why, then, if it's common. Obviously, because you expect the odd mistake, but we can't all have that same problem, can we? Over squonked in me passage. Me passage is a bit wet and leaky. Over squonked it. I'm just reading the catching up on the chat. Sorry, guys. I don't like to go quiet, but I need a breather as well. So in my breather, 
going to remind you again, guys, about pod salt. This one, pod salt, hit the spot. From my vapory, if you just Google my vapory, you'll find them. Pod salt um, actually sponsor me. So I've also got a discount code. So if you buy anything from them, you can use my discount. Even if it's a thing that's on sale, you can still use it. So Jules, has, I've got a leaky passage. So my discount is Jules twenty. I'm going to type that in actually. Jules twenty. Oh, I've not typed it in, you silly bitch. Right, try again. Jules 20, right? So if you type that in um, when you're buying anything, you'll be able to get 20% off. And if they had some on sale, you can say for 40%, you put my 20 to it, that's 60% off, guys. So remember to use that. And it's at my vapory. What's mass? What's this say? Reverend Vapes is announced before the jewel was released yet. Sucking on Matt's passage is that a you're all right tight or is it loose? It's a bit leaky at the moment because I have a squonk. I've got a wet passage. Mass manufacturing with the low quality control number could be Irish. Flooded my passage for the first time just an hour ago. So Rev, I'm not the only one who's got a wet passage. <laughs> it's not nice, neither is it. <laughs> we'll be going back to zero once I have used up the nicked up liquids. I got to try. Okay. There you go. Thank you, Gailey. Irish, been trying to get Vic to review the passage on the pumper. He is reluctant. I I bet. I bet. <laughs> there you go, Alfie. Yeah, Gailey's put the link in for you. No update. Just checked. Only update if it's for the single. So the update is only for this one. There's none for the dual. I, might, I haven't done an update on it. I might do one. See, that's not good. I might have a word with Brian about it, actually, because I'm, I bet he's at Expo again in October. Because it is a problem. And you think about it, you spend a lot of money. It's like, if this does it, I'll be really, really upset, because this, this was 150 quid to buy this, guys. £150 I spent for that. I know I'm going to review it, but it's one I wanted anyway. And I'll be really, really upset if this goes tits up like the other one. Really upset, because that's £150 of money that I can't afford to throw away. I mean, who can? I can't th I can't throw away 20 quid at the moment. So 150? Fuck me, no. I couldn't do it. Couldn't. So what haven't I vaped on for a while? Oh, done that one. Done that one. Did I vape on this one? Well, it's a bit... Oh, well. That's nice. This is a squonk, though. Getting a bit dry. Oh, my vapes one I have done. I know what I'll do. Pod. Back on this one. My pixie. Really cute. I would contact Brian now as a few people are raised it as an issue. Yeah, I could do, Bill. But it's not his fault. That's the only thing. That's why I don't want to contact him. It's like if I had a problem with the Kelpie. At the end of the day, it won't be... Vic's fault, unless I, I wanted advice on how to build on it. It would be something to do with the people who manufacture it, who built it, wouldn't it, at the end of the day? So I don't want to waste the wrong person's time and bug somebody. It, does that make sense? I mean, don't get me wrong. I, if we, it was an expo, I'd talk to him in, in passing, chat about it. But he didn't actually physically sit there building it. You know, so I wouldn't want to do that. Ugh. Dilemma, dilemma. Oh, my God, at this being on this fence. You all know Brian doesn't actually make this mod right. Exactly, that's what I was thinking, Irish. He came up with the design, but at the end of the day, it's the, it's the manufacturers who built it, so the fault lies with them. Dovepo were very good with the problem that I had. The, Liz, they are very good. They, had, they were great with me, um, and I will have to see them again, most likely. I know the feeling, Jules. My MVAP broke again this time. It's the lock pin snapped, 144. I can't afford to lose it. Hoping they'll sort it. I'm sure they will. That, the MVAP series, that's... Oh, it's going to be drawers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. The NOVAP. Is that the one you're on about? Yep, NOVAP. Yeah, I, I would be gutted as well. I'd be gutted. It's a lot of money if... And if they can't sort it, isn't it? To throw it away. 
Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna vape my pixie that's on vanilla. But so cheeky plug, cheeky plug. If it's happening a lot though, the design could have an inbuilt weakness. True, true. That's the one. Oh God, Sarah, I hope mine don't go tits up as well. I've not even set it up and used it yet. I'm going to do the filming of the camp down, camera down and then I'm just going to use it until the new update comes because there's a new update for it. And once it does, that's when I'm allowed to do the review for that one. I've been asked by the company not to, do, not to review it until the update's done. Do you know what though? Talking, to, I'm just going to talk about pod stops for a minute. I know that these guys sponsor me, but the thing is, I wouldn't have said yes to them sponsoring me if I didn't think they were good. And the reason why I said that is, I've had Nick Salts, and everyone knows, and I choke, I cough, and the most I've been able to have is a six milligram on some, but they do set off my asthma. They just really irritate me and things like that. This is the first time I've been able to actually enjoy having, you know, pod salts that aren't choking me and I can have up to tw I'm having 20 milligram and the the smooth no choking they're not triggering my asthma at all so I'm really happy with it and that's why I've gone with them for sponsoring my channel I'm quite happy with them sponsoring my channel and I'm quite happy to put, um, say to you all you know about using them because they're not irritating they're really good it's just that wait Sarah, is that your third, not your third Enovap, or is it just your third mod that's gone tits up? Because I would hate it if it's your third one of those, and I can't use it. So I'm, oh God, yeah, I would be pissed off too. Because I bet you enjoyed it, because I did enjoy trying it at Expo. You've been giving all your podnik salts to me up till now, I'm using them just now, I'm impressed. Yes, yes, I have. And I'm loving these. Alf, you got to go, guys. Sort to, yeah, bed before the baker's night shift. Catch you all soon. Bye, sweetheart. Love you much. Oh, God, I wish you was a baker living near me. Ah, oh. Love you. Bye. Well, guys, you know what? It's now 26 minutes past. So, so you, I'm going to go as well. See you later, Sam. Love you, darling. It's your third Enovap. Oh, my God. Oh my god, I'm and you know I'm worried now. I'm quite worried, but we'll see. Ooh, we'll see about that. Anyway, guys, you know what? It is that time. It really is. It's that time for me to be saying goodbye to y'all. I've had a great time. My spanners are brilliant. Thank you very much. Again for Zan. Sorry about what I said. Don't anybody call him that ever, ever, ever. Or she'll get your balls kicked by me because I'll get in trouble for it. But you know, guys. Please continue supporting me. I really appreciate everything that you do. I appreciate you subscribing to me. I, I appreciate the love that you, you show me. I really do. And I'll keep sitting on that fence now. And I'll keep being Switzerland. I really will. So remember, guys, Mama knows best. Vape don't smoke. I love you much, Leon. Go on. Have some fun. And I'll see you soon. Bye, you cheeky devils.